Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Freud used the analogy of the iceberg to illustrate the topographical model of the conscious, the unconscious, the subconscious, and the non-conscious. The first one is the conscious. Freud said that all that we are aware of is stored in our conscious mind. Our conscious mind only comprises a very small part of who we are so that in our everyday life, we are only aware of a very small part of what makes up our personality. Most of what we are is hidden out of reach. The conscious mind involves all of the things that you are currently aware of and thinking about. It is somewhat akin to short-term memory and is limited in terms of capacity. Your awareness of yourself and the world around you are part of your consciousness. The next one is the unconscious. Freud said that most of what we go through in our lives, emotions, beliefs, feelings, and impulses, deep within, are not available to us at a conscious level. He believed that most of what influences us is our unconscious. For example, the Oedipus and Electra complex were both buried down in the unconscious, out of awareness due to the extreme anxiety they caused. While these complexes are in our unconscious, they still influence our thinking, feeling, and doing in perhaps dramatic way. The unconscious mind is a reservoir of feelings, thoughts, urges, and memories that are outside of our conscious awareness. The unconscious contains contents that are unacceptable or unpleasant, like the feelings of pain, anxiety, or conflict. The last part is the preconscious or subconscious. This is the part of us that we can reach if prompted, but it's not in our active conscious. It's right below the surface, but still hidden, somewhat unless we search for it. Information like our telephone number, some childhood memories, or the name of your best friend or best childhood friend is stored in the preconscious. While these memories are not part of your immediate awareness, they can be quickly brought into awareness through conscious effort. For example, if you were asked what television show you watched last night or what you had for breakfast this morning, you would be pulling that information out of your preconscious. The water may represent all that we are not aware of, have not experienced, and that has not been made part of our personalities, referred to as the non-conscious.